Good morning everybody. Here we are in yet another sunny Peterborough day. I'm slaving over a hot pond while Kat is in the hammock. Just one or two little changes that I've made. Still waiting for the polycarbonate and still waiting for the UV bulbs. But that's just the way it is. Uh, a slight change with the position of the auto top-up system that used to be there is now here. So eagle-eyed people will straight away notice that I've put them under a, a water source, namely the filters, but the IP rating for that box is very good, so uh, I have no problems there with water ingress. The reason why I did that is because I wanted my main incomer which is the grey pipe with the yellow stripe at the bottom um, I, didn't, I was having to take it out all the time and back in when I'm cleaning and back in and back and I didn't want all that so I added a Y piece and the other end of the Y piece is my cleaning nozzle so basically I'm making my job that little bit easier uh, I'm currently doing a another filter clean the bottom drain filter is already done I'm just waiting for the skimmer to top up and that brings me to a question that I think we always look at the task of cleaning the filters out as a bit of a drudgery job I might be wrong when I first started um, having ponds which was 27 years ago now I used to hate cleaning out the filters although that was part and parcel of what koi keeping and pond keeping is all about and all the automated systems that they're bringing out now I'm a big fan so the less that I can spend cleaning my filters out the better but does it take away some of the joy of actually keeping koi, keeping ponds I don't know, you'll have, you'll have to let me know uh, so all the ladies and gents out there and there is quite a lot of ladies out there that own ponds do you actually and I, I, this is more tongue in cheek do you actually use the phrase oh, I just need to um, clean my filters just so you can spend a little bit of time with your pond away from your husband away from your wife just to chill out I don't know maybe you do maybe you don't I don't need to because a cat can do it as well but I'll, I'll leave that to you. Um, I've also made, uh, I'm sorry for rambling, but I've also made a little change for the inside of my shower. The sun is really bright today, so I hope you can see this. Uh, basically, I've got a plant trough, which I think you've seen before on some of the earlier videos, which is this. I've then created a U-shape of 300 micron flexible sheet and also put some filter wool in now I've only changed I've had the, had the filters running 10 minutes and just look at the muck already 10 minutes that is ridiculous still suffering with a bit of um, algae green water etc but that's just the way it is just another look at that Proline, big fan because it's automated. So the question today is, do you think automation is the way to go when it comes to cleaning filters and making your pond chores quicker? Or are you a bit, don't take this the wrong way, one of the old school who just enjoy being with your pond, cleaning your filters, cleaning your brushes and your sponges, and just basically chilling out and zoning out from the trials and tribulations of the world at the moment. Let me know. In the meantime, I'm just about full up here, so I'll be turning everything back on. Still waiting for the polycarbonate. And when the UV bulbs come, I'll be changing those as well. And date stamping, as we discussed the other day. Pond is looking pretty good. Cat's added some more plants to the top of the pond. We're getting a lot of sparrows in there. Newly hatched chicks are out being fed. 
and altogether it's quite pleasant. I'll just show you my uh, log bench as well. Nothing to do with fish but I think it's pretty cool. I've got those little offensive things to clean. Mowed the lawn yesterday and chopped some logs up. Created that. It's all a bit fancy but yeah, I like it. Anyway, as we walk back, I'll show you my um, little log birdhouse as well. You might be interested in that. Think of too much time on my hands. There you go. Chopped out with a chainsaw to create a bird box. And back to the pond. The pond is quite warm at the moment. This isn't a heated pond, but it's currently, I don't know if you can see that, 16.1, and the interior of the greenhouse is 26.2. Lovely day, blue sky. Ah. As soon as I get that polycarbonate sheet, I'll be a hell of a lot happier. I can get rid of that net. Anyway, sorry for my ramblings, you know what I'm like when I get going. Have a safe day, stay Covid free, protect your family, happy ponding.